what's up you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. Thanks for hanging out again for another lesson. We're gonna do American Girl by Tom Petty. Hope you enjoy it. Also, I appreciate the extra support like signing my newsletter at Marty Music. You can see the first comment down there. Anyway, let's break it down. Here we go. All right, the song starts with a D chord and a D riff, and it's an octave. So what's going on is you put your pinky on the 10th fret of the high E, and your index finger on the seventh fret of the G, and your index finger mutes the B string, so you're not barring it, it's just curving over and muting that. So you get this. And then you get the open D in there. And a, a D chord's playing underneath that. You know, it definitely starts with a da da da, you know, like a down up down. Down up down da down da down da 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 It varies what's going on there, but think of it as definitely a starting with a down up down up. and then vary it from there. D chords underneath that with the same rhythm. But then we go into the song and I'm just gonna give you a basic rhythm to get you going and then you can vary it as, as you like. So this is kind of designed more for if you're playing it by yourself. Um, you know, to keep the rhythm, so. So it's gonna go like this. Down, down, up, down, up, 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 down, down, right? The other thing is we're gonna talk about measures or bars, which mean the same thing. It's a count of four. One, two, three, four. That was one measure, right? So if I do one measure of D, that was one, two, three, four. And so most of the chords are one measure each, and then there's times where it holds for longer on the A chord especially. But so when you hear me say measures, that's just, counts of four, it's like a sequence of, of four counts. So we do D, E, measure E, so. Right, then a measure of G, you can play it however you know how to play G. And then a measure of A. So that's also the thing at the very end of the song that goes over and over, uh, over all the guitar soloing. One measure of D, one measure of E, one measure of G, one measure of A. Does it again. So after it goes to that second time through the verse, it's now A for two measures, and it now it does something new. So here's that second half. D, E, two, three, four, G, two, three, four. Now A, two, three, four. Two, two, three was a great big world. So now it's D for a measure. And then G for a measure but there's a little, you can do a little walk up, which is open E, second fret, E, middle finger to the third, then you go to the G chord. So check it out. From that second half of the verse, D, E. Now, two measures of A. Now D. And then now E minor. 
for a measure. So, so far we've only, uh, everything's been one measure, every chord change, except for the second time through on the A, it's two measures, then this new thing. E minor. After the E minor, it goes to A, and now the A is going to be for four measures, which would feel like this. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. Three, two, three, four. Four, two, three, four. Oh, yeah. All right. Take it easy, baby. Take it ass on that summer. She was a mannequin. And that's almost the whole song right there. So let's take it from the very top. We've got the riff. Then the new strumming pattern with the verse coming in. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. Mostly one measure each. So D, she was an E girl. G for a measure, A for a measure, back to D. Same thing again, except when we get to the A. For two measures, three, four, two, two, it was a D, 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 up to G. Then the E minor for a measure, now A for four measures. Three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. Now, here's what we call the chorus. It's gonna be G for a measure. Oh yeah, A for a measure, all right, then a D for a measure, Get easy baby. One bar chord, B minor for a measure, B minor. And then now G to A, G measure, A now into the riff. All right, let's go through it again. We start with the riff. Then we got the verse, D, then to E, then to G, then to A. Then we repeat that whole thing. But now for two measures. Then we go to new thing, D, up to, on to G. E minor. Now A for four. Two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. Three, two, three, four. Four, two, three. Now G. Up to A. Then the D. Then a B minor. Now G. And then A. And then the riff. Uh, I'd have to dedicate uh, another lesson to all the electric guitar soloing and stuff, but the bridge is G, 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 and you can just hit the note. And then we're gonna go do, 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 so three, four, five, so. D right there on the fifth of the A. And there's a little second guitar, which is, you could do right here on the G string, five, six, seven. Last one, instead of going to D, it's A. And then, boom, into the kind of climax of the song, which is just the, the, the first progression we learned over and over. Yeah, man, and we're rocking. Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate you supporting me with Marty Music. Thank you again. 
And you can feel free to uh, leave your requests in the comments below. And I can't wait to see you again real soon. Take care. Uh.